I'm uh, Ryan Quarrel, and I'm uh, an attorney. I'm originally from Pennsylvania. I think the changes were probably pretty well underway um, when we started to move in here. I mean, this this is a great neighborhood. There's a lot of different people here, very diverse, all kinds of different folks, um, pretty much from everywhere. It's very, it's a great place to live, really. On the one hand, there are a lot more businesses and things here than there used to be. Um, the new grocery store just reopened, and it's it's pretty nice. Although I've I've seen some of the rents on some of the places that they have there in the in those new developments, and frankly, they're more than my mortgage. So, yeah, they're they're going up. Um, these were like the good deals and stuff for a while, and now it's kind of becoming a lot pricier. That Seventh Street Lost place is like one of the most expensive places in the city. I don't know who they're filling that with, but um, yeah, I mean the people who have been here a long time are certainly not on the same socioeconomic level or whatever is most of the people moving in. I don't know where, you know, I, I had a car so I can drive and go grocery shopping wherever, but if you lived right over there, um, I don't know where you would, it'd be hard to get access to good grocery stores and there's a pharmacy in there and things like that. We don't even have a CVS around here. Um, so the giant definitely takes, adds a lot, I think, for these, for a lot of the people who live here. It's definitely a rent increase since, the, you know, you know, it's this gentrification in the Shaw neighborhood and it lasts probably been in effect the last 10, 15 years now. I mean, every, but you know, that's everything is fluctuating. You know, the prices, the market, the real estate market is going up. You see the change in the neighborhood. Definitely a lot of people, a lot of people. If they was renting and they didn't own, then they definitely had to move if you know, the owner sell. I mean, you got a couple of people still holding strong though, but it's very few. Shadows, is, it's, it's a nice staple. It's a good, like a lot of people in the community, go there so it's definitely a strong staple in the community they serve good breakfast you know people go there for breakfast some of the youth go there after school to play basketball they got a gym it's a, it's a very nice facility in church it's a positive changes you know i mean i can't say it's negative because if people didn't own then you know i mean it's I can't say it's their fault but i wouldn't say it's a, a negative i definitely say it's a positive change a change for the better